Welcome to the Quick Terrain Modeler Tutorials. In this video, we will address graphics issues, what causes them, and how to troubleshoot them. You will learn how QT Modeler interacts with the Graphics Processing Unit, or GPU, in your computer, the different types of GPUs, and what to do if QT Modeler is not working correctly. This tutorial is designed to either be watched chronologically or using the interactive menu, which will allow you to skip forward directly to your issue using the table of contents. Let's begin with an overview on how QT Modeler interacts with your computer, specifically the GPU. QT Modeler is a graphics intensive application. It relies heavily on 3D graphics and the rendering capability of your computer. If your GPU is not functioning properly, is older and not up to the task, or has older drivers, QT rendering performance will suffer. Depending on the age of your computer and what it was designed for, it will either have one or both types of GPUs, either an integrated GPU and a high-performance discrete GPU. Not all computers have both. Laptops that have discrete GPUs also have integrated GPUs and allow users to switch between them to save power when high-performance GPU processing is not necessary. This is called switchable graphics. An integrated graphics GPU is part of the central processing unit, or CPU, chip meaning that the GPU is integrated onto the CPU die and shares memory with the processor and is standard on all newer laptops using the Intel i3, i5, and i7, as well as the newer AMD CPUs. Integrated GPUs are cheaper and use less power, but currently don't have the rendering and processing capability of discrete GPUs. In contrast, discrete graphics are a separate card or chip usually made by NVIDIA or AMD ATI and is dedicated solely to processing graphics. They have their own onboard memory and are usually much more powerful but also consume more power. Regardless of the type of graphics your computer has, the language that QT Modeler uses to communicate with the GPU is OpenGL or the Open Graphics Language. The OpenGL language is updated frequently. QT Modeler will take advantage of new, advanced OpenGL capabilities, so keep OpenGL updated by updating your graphics driver periodically. The current QT Modeler minimum requirement is OpenGL version 3.1. To verify your OpenGL version and which GPU QT Modeler is using, go to the Help menu and OpenGL Resources. It is important to note that out of all the QT Modeler requirements, Graphics is the most important and by far the most likely to cause problems. We recommend keeping your graphics driver up to date, but what is a graphics driver and how do I know if it's up to date? A driver is the software that controls your GPU and provides an interface for QT Modeler to talk to it. Upgrades are free for both NVIDIA and AMD and both release new drivers frequently. To see which graphics capability your computer has, simply right click on your desktop and look for an NVIDIA or AMD control panel in the menu. Or go to your device manager and look under display adapters. Right click on the GPU to inspect the driver date and the version number. Old drivers are a source of many problems and can be updated at no cost. Note, when using the update driver software button, it may not find the latest driver the manufacturer recommends. To do this, go to the manufacturer's website and download the latest driver for your discrete graphics card. Administrator rights will be required to conduct this update. Regardless of what GPUs exist on your computer, the only thing that matters to QT Modeler is what GPU am I talking to right now? To find out, again, go to the QT Modeler help menu and open GL resources. This will tell you what GPU is running and what OpenGL version you have. To help you identify a problem associated with your graphics processor, the following issues and solutions will walk you through how to resolve your problem. Problem one is when you know you have a discrete GPU on your computer. However, QT Modeler is using the integrated graphics. The solution is to force the computer to use the high performance GPU when using QT Modeler. Start by closing QT Modeler if it is open. Next, right click on the desktop. Open the NVIDIA or AMD control panel, whichever one you have. We are showing the NVIDIA control panel here for example. Under Select Tasks, go to Manage 3D Settings. There are two options on the right, Global Settings. Select the High Performance NVIDIA Processor to select the preferred graphics processor for all programs. If you wish to set it 
or QT Modeler only, select the Program Settings tab, and in the Select Program dropdown, find QT Modeler. Then select the High Performance NVIDIA Processor and select Apply. An alternative to using the GPU control panel is to right-click on your desktop on the QT Modeler shortcut. Select Run with Graphics Processor and select the High Performance NVIDIA Processor. Be aware that this will only use that processor for this session and not become the default. The second problem is when QT Modeler is rendering very slowly on your discrete graphics card. The solution is to update the graphics driver. In the Device Manager, under Display Adapters, right click on the NVIDIA or AMD Graphic Processing Unit and select Properties, and then the Drivers tab to inspect the driver date and version number. If the driver is more than a few months old, attempt to update the driver by selecting Update Driver button and search automatically for the driver. This assumes you are connected to the internet. If this works, your problem should be solved. If no newer driver was found, proceed to the manufacturer's website listed below to download the latest driver and install it using their instructions. The third problem arises when you have only an integrated graphics card. Newer Intel graphics cards such as the Intel HD 5 and 600 series are quite good and support the advanced OpenGL functions that QT Modeler uses. Just make sure your graphics drivers are up to date. Older Intel graphics cards such as the HD 2000 and 4000 or even earlier GPUs may not support all the QT Modeler advanced rendering functionality. The solution is simply to disable the advanced or enhanced OpenGL functions in QT Modeler. Go to the QT Modeler Help menu under OpenGL Resources, as shown here, and deselect some of the enhanced features, particularly the anti-aliasing or advanced GL shaders. Problem 4 arises when trying to use QT Modeler via remote desktop. Unfortunately, there is no solution here. Remote desktop uses a software-based OpenGL, and this is not nearly powerful enough for QT Modeler's advanced rendering techniques. In this tutorial, we covered how QT Modeler interacts with the Graphics Processing Unit, or GPU, in your computer, the different types of GPUs, and what to do if QT Modeler is not working correctly. For further information, don't hesitate to contact us. We'd love to hear from you. More information can be found at our website.